Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the starship Enterprise. To boldly go where no man has gone before. Nicely done. Welcome to the 1960s aboard the Starship Enterprise. And for those who do not know and recognize me, I'm Captain Kirk. You may have seen him in the news recently as the oldest person yes. to launch into outer space. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for our annual costume contest, where contestants boldly go where no person has gone before. Beam them on the screen, Scotty. Today's virtual audience consists of semi-finalists in this year's competition. We've teamed up with Hai Chu to award $10,000 mm -hmm. cash prizes. Four finalists will each get $1,250, and our grand prize winner will be walking away with a Halloween treat of $5,000. <laughs> Let's meet this year's finalists in no particular order. Daniel Thomas as the Demon Goblin. Daniel. <laughs> Jessica Hatfield as Corpy the Forest Creature. <laughs> Carl Lobono Wall as the Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa Fowler and her husband Steve as Mickey and Minnie Topiary. <laughs> and Ron Lano as Pennywise, the dancing clown. Right, yes. <laughs> Congratulations. Now, let's take a closer look at our finalists. Hi, I'm Ronnie Alano from Glendale, California, and I made this Pennywise costume. I used a dodgeball and duct taped it to a helmet. Then I used ping pong balls for the eyes. For the teeth, I used aluminum foil wrapped with paper towels. I bought fabric and sewed the outfit myself too. Really proud of Pennywise. It took me over a month to make it. I'm Lisa. I came up with the idea for this costume because it's the 50th anniversary of Disney World. I use paper mache over balloons to make the head and styrofoam to make the ears and nose. For the bodies, we just wore long sleeve t-shirts and pants. Then we put Spanish moss and green ivy all over using a hot glue gun. Hope you like them. Hi, my name is Jessica Hatfield from Redwood City, California, and this is my forest creature. I've been working on this since March, almost seven months. I did it all by hand, and the dimensions had to be painstakingly precise. The body was definitely the most difficult to construct because it had to sit perfectly on top and move in conjunction with the four stilt legs. The skull is mechanized and can move all around, and the jaw can open and close using a handlebar brake that I mounted inside one of the stilts. To get the forest look on the exterior, I used all my favorite things. Trees, fungi, and bones. It's a real trip to watch this thing walk around, isn't it? This is my Phoenix. I'm Carl from Orlando, Florida. The concept of my costume came from my own life. I was going through a tough time. The Phoenix became a symbol of my own rising from the ashes. My budget was small. I turned to the thing I love, thrifting. I got all my materials secondhand. I used prom dresses, purses, football shoulder pads, curtains, pillows, and even a pleather jacket. And boy, did I have to sew a lot. Luckily, there's a lot of red in the costume because my fingers literally turned into pin cushions. Ouch! Recycled, reused, reimagined. That's my Phoenix. Hi, I'm Daniel Thomas. I'm from Los Angeles, California, and this is my nine foot demon goblin. I saw the fire in your eyes. The eyes and the mouth of the demon goblin have LED lights and a smoke vapor inside that looks super cool in the dark. I mold the head out of the clay, then paper mache, and then I painted it. I formed the body around a big backpack and made a hunchback out of chicken wire. The costume was not easy to make, but it was a labor of love. So talented, you guys look great. Uh, when we return, we'll announce this year's $5,000 grand prize winner. We'll be right back. <laughs> 